and today I will be doing some baking. Uh, I am going to make from my trusty baking recipe folder lemon drizzle cupcakes. And I have already lined up my cupcake cases in a muffin tin. Let's get into the video. So, first off, you will need some butter. Next is caster sugar. Self-raising flour and baking powder is next. Self-raising flour. Baking powder. There you are. Baking powder. Eggs. Eggs. Then you'll need two lemons. Alright, so I've got my lemons, they're in a pack of three, so I'll only have two. For the actual cake, you need the zest only, and then for the glaze, you only need the juice. So, let's get baking! Right, so start by preheating pre your oven. I'm preheating it to 160 Celsius, or you can do gas mark 4. Now I'm measuring out my butter. You'll need 225 grams of this. Now I'm going to measure out my caster sugar. You'll need 225 grams of this. Next is self-raising flour. You'll need 275 grams of this. Now you need to do two level teaspoons of baking powder. Now I'm going to crack four eggs into my mixer. That is two, that is three, and that is four. Now I'm going to pour four tablespoons of milk into my mixer. Then I'm going to grate my lemons, zest only. Now I'm going to mix all together until it is smooth. Now I'm going to pour one spoonful and a little bit extra of cake mixture into my cupcake cases. Now I'm going to put my cupcake mixture in the oven and bake for 35 to 40 minutes. I'm measuring out 175 grams of granulated sugar and cutting up one of my lemons out of two, taking out the pits and then squeezing it into my bowl. Now you're to mix the sugar and the lemon juice together until a runny consistency. I'm checking to check if my cakes are cooked and it's a thumbs up. Now I'm going to pour my runny consistency of lemon and sugar over my cupcakes and they should hopefully seep into the cake and keep it nice and moist. After you've poured all your mixture onto your cupcakes and let it harden, you can serve them to your friends and family and enjoy your lemon drizzle cupcakes. 